Hey, hey! Long time no see, eh? I ain't seen your mug since we polished off that fat geezer. I've been playing it straight, Gov. None of that dodgy business I was up to before I met you. Yeah, I've been doing a bit of trading, you know, bits and bobs like. Been sailing round and selling stuff in all the places we went to together. This bird, a uh, mate of mine's been bugging me for ages to help her with it. So here I am. You're looking at Yengus, the important exporter now. Anyway, I heard your big news. So you're head of the palace guards then, eh? Diamond. I'm well chuffed I can help you out on your first big job and all. And it's for none other than our darling horse print. Oh, listen to me. She ain't an horse anymore, is she? So we're escorting the princess to a wedding at Savella Cathedral, right? Oh, I don't know, though. Beats me why she's still marrying that charmless bloke. Oh, oh yeah, nearly forgot. I was supposed to give you a message from this old minister I saw on the way over. Seems the princess is ready to deport now. So you can go and fetch her from a room like. I'll be waiting down in the courtyard then, eh? See you in a bit. Ah, it's been a while. I came as soon as I heard the news. So, it seems we'll have the honor of escorting the lovely princess. I just ran into Yangus, too, same as ever. I'm a busy man, as you know, so I wasn't too thrilled at first at having to drop everything and come over. But it is good to see the old gang again. Anyway, are you really all right with this wedding going ahead? You don't have to stick around if it's too hard for you. Just do what you have to do, my friend. Like I did when I left the Abbey. Oh, <laughs> Angelo's so wonderful. You know, he looks after children who don't have anywhere else to go. He says he wants to repay all the kindness Abbot Francisco showed him when he was all alone in the world. Isn't he just the sweetest man you ever met? <laughs> hey, no need to tell the whole world. I have a certain image to maintain with my admirers. Well then, see you in a bit. I'll be down in the courtyard taking a break. Come and find me when you're ready. Time no see. How have you been?
You look pretty well, that's for sure. But how come you haven't visited me in Alexandria? I've missed you. You know, I was planning to go off and live on my own, but my mother was so worried I ended up settling down back at home. I guess the time I spent away from her made us both realize what's truly important to us. We get on really well now. I'm not much of a replacement for my brother, but I've decided to stay and look after Alexandria. With everyone's help, of course. But enough of that. Have you heard? Apparently Yangus and Red have teamed up now and they're doing something together. Can you believe it? Last I remember, they couldn't exchange two words without three insults. I wonder what went on between them. Huh? You're on your way to pick up Princess Medea? Yeah, I guess it's time to get going. Okay then, I'll be waiting for you down in the courtyard. I suppose this is the last time I'll play the piano like this in here. I wonder if there'll be a piano I can play in Algonia. Thank you for coming. Is it already time to leave? I asked the minister to have you call on me so that we could take one last walk through the castle, alone together. I know it's not quite time yet, but I wanted to say goodbye to you properly to thank you for everything you've done. The times I've spent here in Tredane Castle, with you, will be memories I shall treasure for always. I have to marry the Prince of Argonia to fulfill my royal duty. And you have to... Please continue to serve my father and protect Tredane, just as you always have. Oh, so then, shall we go? It won't do to keep people waiting too long. So this is Savella Cathedral. 
What a perfect place for a grand royal wedding. Excellent work, young man. You did an admirable job of escorting us. Your duty here has now been fulfilled. You shall stay the night at the inn and return to Trudane tomorrow. But I thought they'd all be attending the wedding. I'm sorry, Princess, but I'm afraid that won't be possible. Well, pleased to make your acquaintance indeed. I am Prince Charmley of Argonia. Goodness! Ooh -hoo. You must be Princess Medea. Ooh, charmed, I'm sure. One look at you is enough to make me forget all the other beautiful girls I've ever met. <laughs> I'm the luckiest man in the world to have you as my wife. Blimey! What's with all the romance? I didn't know you had it in your Charmless. It's Charmley! Oh, aren't you those servants from the initiation? Hm. No doubt you're here because you heard the news of my wedding. Well, I'm afraid this is as far as you can come. I can't possibly have commoners like you at such a grand royal affair. It's not as if you're aristocracy, or wealthy, or, well, anything. <laughs> that brat is unbelievable. Can't let us in on account of our being too common indeed. The preening little snob. It's been a while since the initiation, but he is still just as obnoxious as ever. And yet tomorrow, he's going to be marrying the princess. Can you believe it? Wait a minute. The ring. You still have the ring, don't you? The one that belonged to your father. If you have it with you, go and show it to King Clavius. If he knew you were his nephew, he might just change his mind about this ridiculous marriage. Go and find him at the Lord High Priest's place and see what he says. It has to be worth a try. magic mirror to some time ago. What brings you here tonight? You look like you have something important to tell me. That ring. It's set with an argon heart. admit that your tale is enough to give even me pause. It sounds as if you truly are Eltrio's son. How else could you possibly know all the things you just told me? Hmm, if my brother had not left his country behind to go after your mother, he would be king of Argonia now. And if you had been born a prince, then I suppose it would be you marrying Princess Medea tomorrow. But those are just what-ifs. 
It would throw the kingdom into turmoil if another heir appeared at this late hour. I cannot possibly recognize your claim. Please try not to think badly of me. You must... Rise and shine, Gav. The princess will be getting itched in a bit. We've come all this way. We should at least try and get a glimpse of her all dolled up. I'll go on ahead then, eh? I'll be waiting in front of that big church. I thought you weren't coming. The ceremony's already started. It's bedlam up there with all those people. I doubt anyone would notice you among the crowd. I wish I was more like her. I'm more interested in seeing the new Lord High Priest than the bride and groom. But it's impossible to see anything from here. <laughs> Congratulations, Princess Medea! Congratulations, Prince Charles! Hey, stop pushing! What? Oh. There you are, Gav. I knew you'd turn up. Right, this way. Follow me! <clears throat> well, we've got this far. Now, we just have to take care of that knight. Leave him to me, Gav. Go on, in you go. Honestly, where has the princess got to? What 
What's taking her so long? Hmm? What do you think you're doing? Are you trying to ruin my wedding? I won't stand for it. Guards, get rid of him at once! Wait! That will not be necessary. He has a right to be at this ceremony. I... I have reconsidered. You are the rightful groom. Father! How can you say such a thing? I'm the rightful groom! Yesterday evening, the boy you see standing there gave me this ring. What's that? Is it an Argon ring? I don't understand. Only members of the royal family who've passed the initiation should have a ring like that. This ring belonged to my elder brother. It was Eltrio's ring. That boy is his son. It is only right that he should be the one to marry Princess Medea. No! I won't allow it! Princess Medea is promised to me, so I'm the one who's going to be marrying her! Pardon me for interrupting, Your Majesty. I've just received word that the bride is now ready to make her appearance. Open the doors! Allow the bride to enter! me, Father.
It's been a long journey. A lot has happened along the way, but it's all worked out well in the end. How curious to think that you would have been Prince of Argonia had things been different. <laughs> Fate deals strange hands indeed. to those old promises made so many years ago. Now you two are free to decide your own destiny. Never mind that now, Father. Look, 